Hey developers, how's it going? In this video, I will show you the most common SQL queries that you need as an Android developer. This will be part 1 and we will only deal with one table and in part 2, I will show you more advanced SQL queries that you can use with multiple tables. First of all, what is SQL and what is SQL query? Well, SQL or Structured Query Language is a programming language that enables you to create databases and create tables and also modify on the data inside that tables, such as insertion, deletion, and retrieve the data from the tables. And each SQL statement that you write is called a SQL query. And in Android, we have a version of a SQL that called a SQLite. And this is just a version that is specified for Android development. And you might also hear it other names like MySQL or Oracle SQL or SQL Server. These are just different companies, but they all work the same. They all have the same queries. Okay, before I start, I will not go through the following queries, which are creating a table, insertion, and updating. Because we will actually work with a library called Room that was released by Google. And that library will just do this, this operation for us. We don't need to write queries for creating a table or inserting a new record or even updating a new record. So that library, which called Room, will do that work for us. Okay, now let's start with the queries. And with the simplest query we have for today, which is the deletion query. So I have this website, which is just an online compiler for SQL. And it's also attached with some tables. As you can see, we have these tables. I will leave you the link of this website in the description. Now, don't worry about this query. I will explain it later in this video. Now, as we said, I will go through the deletion queries and to delete the records from a table, you just need to write delete from and you specify the table name. Now, as I said, there are many tables in this, in this, um, what I call it, let's say in this database, and we will gonna deal with the first one, which is the customers. So I'm gonna delete from customers. And this will just delete all the records inside that customer. So let's run that SQL query. And as you can see, the customers records now are zero. And now we don't have any results because we deleted all the customers inside that table. Now I'm gonna click on restore database to restore the records and as you can see we have the records back in the table and I'm just gonna write this query don't worry about it I just want to show you the data inside that table customers now I'm gonna show you how you can delete a specific item or a specific record from your table so to do that you write delete from then you specify the table name which is customers and then you add your conditions. So you can add many conditions in here. I'm gonna add uh, this condition. So you write where, and I'm gonna delete the customer that his ID is one. So where customer ID equals one. So this will just delete the first customer. Let's see that. So run a SQL. And as you can see, the records now are 90. And if I get back to this query, just to show all the data for this table, and as you can see, we can now find the customer ID one because we already delete him. And as I said, you can add more than one condition. So let's write this delete from delete from and customers table where, and this time I want to apply two conditions. So the first condition is where the country is Mexico, so where country is Mexico and where the city is, let's say, this city. So this will just delete all the customers that lives in Mexico and lives in this city. Let me just delete the space in here. And let's run that SQL query. Now we have 90 records. Let's see when delete them. Actually, there were five people that lives in Mexico and lives in this city. Now let's move to the more exciting part, which is the selection queries. 
So selection queries will just retrieve data from your tables. Let's start with the with the simplest one, which is this one. You've already seen it. So select all from customers. This one will just retrieve all the information or all the records inside your customers table. You can run that SQL query and as you can see, we have our customers here. Now in some cases, you don't need to select all of the data about the persons or, or the customers. In this case, you can specify the columns that you want in your output. So let's say you want the customer name, so you can hear so you write here the customer name and you want to show also the city and the country then run this sql query and we have an error cast oh yeah the customer name attribute is not written right so customer name cast tumor name run that and as you can see we have now the customer name city and country and if we just replace it with a star that means i want to select all of the data inside that table as you can see now we got all the attributes or all the columns and also you can apply conditions to this query as we did in the deletion query so you can write where city equals to London and this will just return us all the customers that lives in London let's run the query now and as you can see it returns us all of these people or all these customers where do they live and you can of course apply more conditions as we did in the deletion so you can say where the country is UK this will just give us the same output but yes, I just want to show you this country equals UK. Run that. As I said, this will just give us the same output. And now let's say that I want to show all the countries that my customer is from. So here you write select country from customers. You run that SQL query and you can see you get all the countries that your customers from but as you can see we have duplicated values so we have USA here many times multiple times and basically the countries are duplicated and if you don't want to have duplicated outputs so you can use this keyword which is distinct so distinct before your columns and this will just remove the duplicated outputs from from your records so let's run that SQL query now. And as you can see now, we don't have any duplicated country. So we have customers from the UK. We have customers from Sweden, from Germany, France, Spain, Canada. And we don't have those countries mentioned again. And one of the most uh, used queries in selection queries is order by. So order by will just, as, it, as the name says, it will order your output. So you can order by customer name or customer ID. So this will just order your outputs. And now you want to specify how do you want order how do you want to order the outputs? So ascending or descending. Now if we write ascending actually it will just give us the same output. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if we write descending this will just gives us from the highest customer ID until the lowest. And you can also order it by any attribute from this attribute. So you can order it by the customer name and that will actually works. And if you use ascending, now you can see just order it by the alphabet. So we can find A, B, C, D, and yeah, you got the point. Okay, now another selection query I want to show you is select, and now you can use count, and you add this star from your table, which is customers in our case. Run that SQL query, and as you can see, this just returns us 
the records count in our table and there are also other functions you can use here like max and now you can specify the column so let's say I want to get the max customer ID and this will just customer cust oh my god customer ID and this will just returns us the highest or the maximum customer ID and as you guessed it we also have minimum so min and this will just returns us the minimum customer ID okay now another query I want to show you is is very important query and and use a lot in apps which is the search query so how you can search in your records it's very simple actually so select all from customers now you add your condition so let's say you want to search in the names so customer name customer name and then you use the keyword like and and now let's say you want to search about the customer name about the customers that their name starts with a so to do that you can you're gonna write here a and add this percentage this means that you want to get all the customer names that their name starts with a and you don't care about the rest of the name so let's run that SQL query and as you can see we have only one customer that his name starts with a let's try B and we have all of these customers that their name starts with B and let's say you want to search about the customers that their name ends with B in this case you're gonna take this percentage and put it in front of B run this and as you can see the last letter here is B let's try a for example and all of these customers names ends with a and there are actually more patterns for this like keyword and as you can see in this picture we have a lot of these patterns that you can actually read on your own and you can try them out okay guys so that was all for this video I pretty much showed you all the SQL queries that you need when you have only one table in your database so I don't think that you need more than these queries when you work with one table the most important queries that you need in your apps okay so thank you so much for watching this video in the next video we will build notes app from scratch and I will show you how we can build a database and all of this stuff using room library which I mentioned in this video so again thank you so much for watching if you want to support me just to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel and you can also follow me on my Instagram page, the link in the description. So have a great day and catch you in another video.